this video is going to be on my uh, warning and uh, my personal concerns and uh, study and investigation into 5G and um, I've been concerned about when the pylon started uh, first popping up without notification they just sprung up overnight um, I, have a, I have a cousin who is a close cousin who was concerned about it and investigated it and at the same time as I did and we sort of uh, passed notes and uh, basically come up found exactly the same things really with, uh, which uh, justified our concerns but it's uh, it's wrong on all levels it's just completely evil and I'm just going to share and invite people to investigate uh, because all all of the um, knowledge is available it's publicly available and it's all been peer reviewed by professional lawful phd doctors or doctorates and if you you know anything if you ever i've not been for university but i understand what a doctorate is it's um it's you learn the current uh, knowledge that is known on this, any given subject and you study it and you learn and then you show yourself approved by lawful evidence and you present that evidence b b before other approved people and they will pass you as you are that you can show that you know what you're talking about and you you can also build your knowledge and increase and uh, produce edification and uh, understanding and further unfold what is known in any given area whether that's science law a doctor, you have to show that you can do what you, what you've been asked to do. You've got to you've got to know all, all, all that's gone before you and how to practice uh, appropriately within that uh, that discipline. So these are all peer-reviewed papers, 5G. So I'd invite you to check out the many peer-reviewed papers that have been kicked into the long grass and kept out of the mainstream media. Now, what is 5G? Now, in layman's terms, as um, a gentleman I just discovered from uh, Gateshead, so uh, don't don't trust what I say as um, well. You'll be foolish to trust what I say as fact without um, examining the evidence yourself. But I invite you to uh, look at all the um, evidence that, that you can find on this subject that is uh, by people who who are qualified to talk about these things who don't don't get heard on the mainstream media they're kept off it and there's a good reason for that and that might open somebody's eyes for... so this video really is I do these videos not not for money not for fame not for glory not for my glory but to glorify God and share share my heart share my testimony of the love of God the mercy of God the uh, salvation forgiveness of sins through faith alone in Jesus Christ alone if you don't want to hear that well that's your choice but um, take heed of, of the warning about 5G because people um, allow they get what they ask for so if, it, if it's accepted and it's not known about or the information's heard but it go, falls on deaf ears the majority will get its way so wickedness will continue that what, what should be done won't be done and what nobody wants will carry on having free course and uh, like a slag it, and that's the way our nations go and we're, um, how it happened and why it happened is another matter but our nation is sold out to this 5G and the infrastructure, infrastructure. and when you look at the um, science and the evidence you can see what it is, it's a, a weapon system, it's a, it's a spying tool, it's a, a, a live x-ray of your home, smart meters, it's, a, it's to control every aspect of your daily life, um, microchips on products, uh, on wheelie bins, on everything, and it all, all the communication of your personal information you'll be able to be it's like a live x-ray um, because it radiates the home and it's a frequency which penetrates it's going to penetrate walls and it's going to be in your house 
and um, all throughout the area there's not going to be any little shadow where this technology is not going to be set up to reach so people can watch anywhere they want to um, any, I, I've shown a um, I'll just finish my sentence that people will be able to watch uh, uh, live like uh, looking in a crystal ball and looking to any home look into any area look into any little nook and cranny where this uh, radio radar this live uh, microwave frequency which is controlled by artificial intelligence this is what people don't realize uh, and also 5g is connected to all the infrastructure already in place you've got this massive um, intelligence controlled digital um, communication system, uh, gathering information system, spy system and weapon system, it can be used in the wrong hands, it could be used to zap you, it could be used to switch you off, it could be, it can even, even, even if you, you do the research, you can even um, copy your thoughts, map your thoughts, you think that might be science fiction, but if you, you really get down, dig deep, you'll see the science is all available. It's all it's all out there in the open. It's all entwined into this um, weapon system. If you look at, uh, there's a, a YouTube series, uh, TEDx, about science, a science platform, technology platform. They demonstrated these um, uh, drone bots which uh, fly, they're very small and they fly around uh, uh, like uh, birds. And um, uh, the world, all these scientists, all these evil base degenerate scientists have been math mapping mathematically life and uh, life cycles like how animals behave, digitalizing it and putting it into technology and uh, genetic mutations and stuff like that it's you know the um, use your imagination and what could be done is, is more than likely being tested on but this uh, the reality of this technology is that it can if you think of like swallows how they all act together in a shoal they can mathematically record that and then impute that and put that into a artificial intelligence and give life to these robots to act in the same way that swallows would in nature or flies and uh, with the um, 5G frequencies filling up a space you can intelligently control that space with uh, visual directing weapons or allowing uh, bots to f uh, patrol a zone and have free course to fly and attack anything you know, I'm just using an, an example uh, with the what is potentially already up and up and tested and, and demonstrated on on this. Uh, I saw it on a TEDx video, but there's papers on it. There's um, all the research that could be dug out and it could verify what I'm saying. But these artificial robots fly around in a swarm, and say you designate an area for them to patrol the size of a tennis court for example or a football pitch you program that to the intelligence and they will fly around and patrol in that area now say you give the uh, you've given the, the program the command that anyone goes into that area these bots will swarm and attack one at a time or in a formation or however it would be uh, programmed to behave so these um, artificial intelligence uh, drones could be uh, policing the world. You know, um, this is the mentality behind this technology because of the minds behind this technology and the way it's been sold to the British public has been a lie. So you have to look behind the curtain and investigate yourself. So I'm just trying to wake people up, just trying to warn people who are not aware of this technology, the 5G. Now, um, from a Christian perspective, I'm a born-again Christian. I'm not a perfect holy person. I'm a sinner. But I've been saved. Uh, my sins have been forgiven. And I have the mercy and love of God in my life. And that's what I want to offer, the testimony and knowledge 
of the faithfulness of, of the Lord Jesus Christ and that that's really my motive, that's the only motive I have for living, that's the only uh, joy, that's the only peace I have, that's the only thing that keeps me going. He's the only one who's uh, known me, he's the only one who's understood me, he's the only one who's saved me, and he's the only one who who's helped me when I'm desperate when there's been nobody else. So if you're seeking comfort, understanding, forgiveness, love, we all need forgiveness because our sins, once we've committed a sin, it's marks. We can't go. We, we can't. We can't rub it out. There's no. You know, God is just. He's He's holy and just. And any sin is uh, needs to be forgiven, because uh, God is holy. He can't lower his standard. So, his judgment's eternal. So if you've sinned and you die unforgiven, you're eternally in debt for your sin, and you can't pay it back. You can't go back in time and correct it and call God. And say, God, um, turn a blind eye to your your standard of holiness. No. He's paid for all sin. So if you reject the remedy, you reject the forgiveness, you remain sinful. It doesn't matter if it's a little sin or a lot of sin. You remain sinful and unforgiven. So we need to be washed. We need to be forgiven of our sins. That we can have a new life. That we can be purchased by he who's sinless because we're sinful. And that's why Jesus died to save sinners. He came to save sinners, not the righteous. And if you think you're righteous, you, you're deceived in your self-righteousness. Because only Christ is, only God is righteous. Um, so this is um, a scripture that's been on my mind from the Revelation. Now the Revelation speaks of the what's coming out the road. It's the, it's the Antichrist system. So if you think, oh, this is all a conspiracy and the Bible's a... a a load of crock and it's all made up to control you well it'll set you free spiritually it won't set you free physically it won't it, but it will uh, Christ will deliver you and set you free eternally in your heart in your spirit but you will remain as like everyone else in this fallen world you you know that like the as an old saying um, you know, the sun shines on the righteous and the wicked. You know, it rains on the righteous and the wicked. Bad things happen to good people. Good things happen to bad people. Uh, but in the end, it all comes down to life. Is are you, are you saved? Did you believe? Did you know God? Because when you die, you're judged. And it's, it's over. Your, time, your probation's over. So this is a warning to people. Just to seek the Lord and forgiveness of sins. His salvation and his, his hope, his peace, his love, his mercy, that you may know him personally, that you won't need anyone else to tell you what's what, that he will finish that which he begins in your life. And he's reliable, he's trustworthy, he's gracious, he's understanding, he's full of compassion and mercy. People just don't know Jesus and they, they, they really have no qualification to, to, to comment on what Christianity is and neither does neither does the religious systems of this world they are if you know God you can you know how who's counterfeit and who's who's genuine uh, and it's a free gift and it's on the table to be received but I wanted I've been thinking about this verse um, revelation now the book of revelation is the revelation of Christ's enemies being victorious uh, Christ being victorious over his enemies forgive me and it's the result of his holiness and triumphing over sin so in the end sin will lose wickedness will have its day and it will be conquered because it's already been conquered by a holy God because he's holy and he laid down his life and uh, had the power to take it up again and he appeared unto many who died as a witness of his uh, resurrection and the gospel was established and preached from uh, the holy city Jerusalem to all the, all the western world, all the, all the world, all the Gentiles, all the non-Jewish uh, people because the Old Testament was, was solely for the Jewish people. It was a newspaper, um, 
chronicles and uh, oracles for the Jewish people. It's God's heart, mind and will for his people. And the New Testament opened up to everybody, Jew and Gentile, because of the Jews and the fulfilling of the prophecy of Jesus Christ in his first advent and their rejection, that it opened the door to everybody. And that invitation is open and he revealed what would happen in the last days as a consequence of rejecting as the world continues to remain in unbelief and under condemnation and uh, hovering above them is God's anger and wrath and that this wrath will unfold, it will come and this beast system, this um, uh, evil figure, the Antichrist without, without moral, without God will deceive the nations and be put in a position to be the one world leader. If you look at the conspiracies of, the, uh, of history, the same conspiracy is being played out in, of the new world order. You've probably heard it on the main, on the uh, alternate media by various truth seekers, Christians, and and you you've probably heard all the. Um, misinformation about it and all the people riding on the back of people's research about it and um, making money off the back of other people's hard work and dedication to bring this knowledge to light to warn people of what has been going on through history continually of the the, of the true conspiracy the, the conspiracy that it's the devil's world and bad people luciferian sodomites and evil people exist and they're a reality and um, these are the people that um, if you know anything about Rasputin now there was, there was this um, heresy taught that the more you sin the, the more you qualify for God's grace so the Kabbalistic Jews practice this that more sin will bring in the salvation it will bring God quicker because they're going to destroy the earth and be wicked and bring about the the rescuing of, of their Messiah is a vain, wicked, um, abominable teaching to um, give free reign to sin, um, Alistair Crowley, and well, it's all under the same camp, This uh, these secret societies and Babylonian mystery religion. So I wanted to um, highlight a book from the Revelation of Jesus Christ of what would happen in the last in the end times in the last days of the world's uh, probation which will be judgment God's judgment outpoured second Peter says the Lord will, will burn the earth he will uh, judge the earth pour out his wrath and vexation and rescue Israel and anyone who doesn't accept this Antichrist mark the mark of the beast to be part of this system to allow this system and accept it and rejoice in it. These people are going to condemn themselves to hell. And if you can sit, if you don't believe hell, well then, do you know God? And if you don't know God, why don't you know God? So you're going to die lost if you don't know God and you've not been forgiven of your sins. You will go into this period if you're if you're still alive. If you die in your sins, you, you've blown it. But if you're alive and you go into this period rejecting Christ, you've you've also blown it because you'll you'll pro possibly You'll, you'll no doubt be too frightened not to take the mark and you'll be led in a captive to a lie, a deception, a conspiracy. This conspiracy is out rolling today and it's the devil behind it and he uses the, um, he crafts through men, he crafts through evil men and compromises nations and governments and, and causes controversy and um, brings about change through uh, deception and devices. These are the devil's devices. And um, this scripture stuck out to me and I thought, well, this is just, who are these people? Now I'm, I'm talking about Revelation 11 verse 18. I'm just gonna focus in on this um, one verse. So this is speaking of um, the time of the, this revelation of, coming upon, uh, being realised in the existence of uh, reality on, on, on our world, in our world, in our time, or in, a, in the times approaching, because we're approaching that time. 
and we're very near that time. Nobody knows the time or the hour. We just, um, as Christians, we're, we're commanded to look up and be, we're delivered from the wrath to come. Some Christians uh, believe that uh, they will pass through this period, which is the, called the period of seven years of tribulation. It's God's outpouring and wrath and the revealing of this uh, Antichrist, this uh, the devil uh, possessing the, the, the seed of a man. Uh, just like Christ was the, the Messiah, he's going to be the anti-Messiah, he's, he's going to be a replacement, an imitation which people are going to love and accept. All the wicked people, all the unbelieving people are going to accept him. And he's going to appear and deceive the world as a one world leader. He may, he may appear as a, an alien. Um, I'm just speculating here, but um, over the last week I've been... F the TV, I only watch... I, I only have three views, so that's all I watch. And uh, picking through all the crumbs and the rubbish that they put on these, these channels, I've been watching these uh, these alien UFOs, aliens in history, and the Anunnaki and all the razzmatazz and the uh, mysteries and the speculation of what these things are. Now, if you if you're a, a believer in Christ, you know that the the prince of this world, Satan, the devil. Now, the devil was a fallen angel who become who rebelled against God and become the devil. And he's, he, by default, he has control over this whole world. He influences men's hearts. He deceives people and leads them into captivity. And we're all, this whole world is in bondage to sin. And because of sin, we have no power over this entity. And because people don't believe, they can't see it, they don't know it. You, are, you, are, you can only see it and know it because you, if you've had your eye, eyes opened by the one who sees all things, and that's God. And if you don't believe in God, you're not going to see it for yourself. Um, I, I believe, therefore I trust God and I trust his word. And I've got a good report. You're not going to change my mind. Only Christ will change my mind. Or somebody with, with, with the truth can correct me. But somebody without truth will never be able to correct me. Because I remain true um, to God's word and because I trust him. And I, I trust his word completely. Um, I don't understand it but I trust it because I know him and I trust him therefore I trust his word and that he's preserved it in the King James Bible and I, I'm reading from the King James Bible in Revelation 11 verse 18 let me just read that and the nations were angry and, and the wrath is come so at this period the nations are angry because because God's um, their plans are going to belly up and the, and and thy wrath is calm. And the time of the dead that they would uh, let me read this. I can't quite see it. The nations were angry, and thy wrath is calm. And the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and should. And shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. I'll read to the end. And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen the temple, of, the temple, the ark of His testament. That's the ark of the covenant. So uh, I just wanted to include this. If anyone's wondering or speculating or seeking, seeking all these um, ancient relics, well, the ark of the covenant's in heaven. It's been revealed. If you don't believe that, you're not. You're going to be looking elsewhere for it. And I'm just saying saying that to uh, people who like to spin out these mysteries and these uh, looking for looking for these things like the gnosis of the uh, the Lord's um, oh, the cup of the light, you know the holy grail you know it's complete mysticism complete baloney you know the Lord probably drunk out of a clay dish that's long perished you know, there's no, there's no mystery to it. It, it. it wasn't the cup that was important. It was the one, the one, the living water that held the cup and offered, it, offered his precious blood. Nothing to do with these silly uh, trinkets that um, mystics and uh, secret societies, even Hitler went after the spear of the pierced Christ because it had mystical power. 
you know, it's complete um, flame delusion. So that's where the Ark of the Covenant is. And there were lightnings and voices and thunderings and the earthquake and great howl and great hail. So this is a time where the Lord's judging all the wicked. He's putting down his enemies under his feet. He's bringing the, he's judging the world moment by moment. But there's going to come a, tom, a time upon the whole world he's going to judge it all in one go. And he's going to stamp out his enemies and he's going to, he's going to slay people. You know, he's, people think, oh, the Lord's a soft, wet hippie. Well, you don't know the Lord. The Lord loves, the Lord's a, a God of war. He's a righteous God and he uses war to rid the wicked. He even uses the wicked against themselves. But God is not wicked. He's, he's holy and pure and loving and just. But he will not tolerate liars, sin, murderers and idolaters, adulterers, blasphemers and liars and sinners. He's pure and holy and he paid for all the sins of the world. You reject that you reject your salvation and life and you'll be in hell and you'll be a fool you'll be, the word of God says you'll feel a fool for not accepting the simplicity that was on offer for you your whole life you might argue what about those who died who don't know Jesus well God knows all things he knows all hearts and that's, that is his burden and it's, it's down to each individual to either to believe or not believe is a free choice. God has allowed a free choice. So I wanted to highlight that one verse about the and should this destroy them which destroy the earth. Who are those people? Who are the people pushing pushing extinction, rebelling, and and the environment and the, all the political machinations and wind behind these political movements, fanning them, sponsoring them through private investments that you can't trace who's, who, who's behind these so-called grassroots movements. They are fabricated, preordained machinations to deceive people and lead people astray to bring about a, a bondage tax for the environment falsely. Now it's no doubt that the, that the uh, world's being destroyed and it's not being look, looked after but that's all going to be put on the public shoulders and these uh, Extinction Rebellion people serving this witch, witchcraft satanic agenda because it's Luciferian and people don't see that because they're too blind the Lord said my people perish because of lack of knowledge because people want to remain watching the circuses and all the uh, distractions and amusements they're not watching what's really going on while, while we sleep and I'm not speaking about myself personally as we, I'm talking about myself as a human being. You know, I, I wasn't always saved, I didn't always know Jesus, I was no different, no better, no worse than anyone else, potentially and literally. I was a sinner, I was a re reprobate, I was evil, wicked and vile. But I, have a, I had a loving saviour, I have a loving saviour that died for me bled for me and rose again for me and saved me and, and completed me and gave me life and I realised I was dead and he's true and these men now I'm just going to anybody interested in um, imagery I just want to just point out something I noticed which is very interesting now I've drawn this diagram let's see if I can get it in shot Right, I've titled this um, video 5G The Infrastructure for the Beast Marks The Beast System Now the Beast System is the uh, the New World Order the, uh, the Satan's um, system of governance and control bringing all people into subjection to worship the image of the beast So this beast is going to have an image an artificial intelligence which is my my hunch and that's the way it's looking so this devil this this lead this world leader will have a system of control and it will be um, you won't be able to buy or sell unless you've accepted it unless you've fallen for the lie 
because you've rejected the truth you're going to be remaining on the earth and they're going to be rolling, knocking on the door with a guillotine. Are you going to accept this system? Or are you going to take the guillotine? Chances are, on the spot, without warning, you'll take, you'll take the mark. And those who don't take the mark are going to be killed. And, they, and, they, and, and that will be their judgment. But they, they, will, they will be saved for sparing their lives. But I just want to look at the uh, what's revealed in the uh, Revelation now the verse the chapter 1-1 one, one, and the verse 18 so I've broken that down into anyone interested in uh, imagery just I'm not saying that this is a fact I'm just ob observing something I thought oh this is interesting oh, oh let's have a look so 1-1 one, one is if you know anything about um, if you read uh, 1 Kings 7.21, you'll see the the true significance of the two columns which Freemasons use, Luciferians use, it's in witchcraft, it's in all the secret societies, Mystery Babylon. Now one of the, the left pillar, this this was the, the true, where uh, these were um, in Solomon's temple and they had a true significance, a spiritual meaning. They've been taken out of context. Uh, if you know the history of uh, King Solomon, he was David's son. And uh, he fell from grace. He was very blessed. Because of the sins of his father that he inherited, he fell from grace. And he, he, he turned all, all, all the things that were, were revealed by God to be used properly. He, he misappropriated and got in bed with the Babylonian schools and priesthoods and started practicing idolatry which is worship, worshiping false gods after he knew the living the one true and living God he fell away and this is where this is the root of all all, all the mystery schools Luciferianism secret societies Freemasonry the Illuminati and all those secret orders covens covens of witches covens of Satanists and it all joins up to all, the, all their commercial assets and associations and it's the whole world is under this this yoke of this system of this um, which is going to rear its ugly head now the number 11 two columns I thought oh look one one two columns chapter two columns the verse 18 three sixes in 18 three sixes the Antichrist is the Babylonian Antichrist system the secret societies the liars the murderers the conspirators the devils behind the powers of this world that uh, create controversy to get control to brainwash to uh, socially engineer to bring into an Orwellian dictatorship, a socialist uh, dictatorship and it's all headed up by the Roman Vatican Church the symbolism 666, that's the Aya Horus, the, the worship the two columns in Freemasonry are the two schools the, the, the dark and the light so you've got the people who think they're doing good in Freemasonry in parallel with people who, 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 who who follow a dark path and they all believe it it um, extends towards progresses towards a man can become like God that was the devil's lie in the Garden of Eden in the Garden of Eden when God said to um, Adam and Eve do not touch the tree of good and evil knowledge because thou shalt die thou shalt surely die and the devil deceived Eve and said God knows that thou shalt not surely die that you will become as gods that was the lie and that's what all all the mystery schools all the secret societies luciferianism freemasonry all aspire to and they use these schools they're wicked they make oaths within oaths they're lying murdering devils anyone who's part of these things are destitute they're reprobate and evil and they've been deceived and the whole of freemasonry is propped up by a load of do-gooders on the on that 
on that branch. They don't see that branch. They, they don't believe that, that that side of it exists because it's done in secret and, and layers. And they don't progress to those layers. They don't see the people that they're, they're, that's above them. They don't see the people who organised it and laid it out because it's laid out from the devil. And it's, it's an ancient mystery. It's an ancient school of thought. And it's within, if you look, it's within all these societies, the OTA, Freemasonry. It's in the Orange Order. It's in the Roman Catholic priesthood. It's in the Church of England. It's in all the priesthoods. Because they all, it's all, all the same school of thought. Um, infecting the whole lot, the whole corrupt lump, the whole leaven, a little leaven leavens a whole lump. It's right. So you've got the two pillars, Boaz, one was Boaz and Jashin. If you look at Freemasonry, the two columns and the, the abomination of the, uh, the uh, God is both good and evil and the two paths of enlightenment, the dark path, and they all believe it goes to the light, the all seeing eye, which is a an abomination, it's the devil, it's Luciferianism. 666, 11, 18. The men who destroy the earth, and that's my warning, 5G is going to destroy the earth and it's going to bring in the infrastructure for the beast system. That might not be straight away. I pray that our nation overturns it, but our queen has accepted it and it's rolling out. The infrastructure is rolling out. Investigate it. If you're any part of the Extinction Rebellion and you haven't investigated 5G, you, are, you, you have really been hoodwinked because 5G is going to destroy the tr biological um, plant life. It's going to interrupt everything. It's going to interrupt biology. It's going to interrupt you. It's going to pass straight through you. You're not going to get any rest. You're going to become ill. If you... If you, if you um, there was a wonderful analogy given by a, a gentleman, Barry Trower, and he said entrainment of microwaves is like being on a trampoline and somebody bigger than you jumps onto the trampoline and you, you've got not, you haven't got the density and the mass to outbounce them so that they, they drive the rhythm of your, because they're heavier than you. So if they jump on the trampoline, you end up bouncing as they bounce. You can't make them bounce, they're making you bounce. That's like microwaves, that's called entrainment. You become entrained to the frequency passing through you. And they're passing through you constantly. And you'll become sick, you'll get cancer, your blood will clot. You won't get any sleep, you won't get any rest. Your, your body operates at a certain, rests in a certain frequency. Your brain operates at a frequency. These people that are intrusion, intruding in your thoughts, in your home, you're allowing these, this system to be set up in your home so you could be spied upon. Your thoughts can be read. Everything you do is monitored. It may not be monitored live because it's all on a massive database and a supercomputer that can process this information in a, in, a, in a nanosecond, almost uh, in real time. And uh, these systems are a reality and they're up and running and I just encourage people to investigate. Uh, if you want to know about the true meaning of the two columns, check out First Kings 7.21. It gives the definition of what they were, the significance of those um, columns but today they're redundant the temple the temple is the believer there's no temple today it's it's finished it's completed in Christ he he's the, he's the temple and anyone who's saved becomes the temple of his holy spirit of God's holy spirit God the holy spirit God the father and God the son and they will know life and they will understand these this, this, this stuff that's been revealed and it's been revealed by God he knows all things, he sees all things so that's my warning to investigate this 5G and uh, whether you really want to be part of this world and what's coming not, not for me thank you I don't get a choice you know and I don't like it I don't want to be bombarded by microwaves at all I don't even want, want this uh, 3G but was I asked they deny health effects, um, 
doctors know about the cancers these cause, it's all lies and it's all for money. It's all to do with money. We're sold out, we're compromised, we, we are yoked and we are accepting and swallowing this crock of rubbish and they're going to roll it out. I've been hassled so many times by British Gas to accept a smart meter. I've put it on their records that I do not want one under any circumstances, yet they still pressure me, they still make out that I'm deluded or that I'm misinformed and they've tried all angles. They've written to me and said, oh, in the future we're going to get an expert to explain and reassure you and I told them not to bother. But they're still going to try, they still send people around to convince me to have a smart meter. If you, if you want a smart meter, you're welcome to it. Because I don't want to be microwaved and fried in my bed any more than I already have been by covert um, devils who um, go after people who, who speak their mind and speak the truth. Because I know this world is driven by the Luciferian system already in place and it is raising its ugly head, it's getting its head on the, it's getting its hands on the table, it's getting ready to rise up. And you can see it, you can see them looking for it, hoping for it, planning for it, building for it if you've got eyes to see and ears to hear. And this is for the likes and I uh, wish everybody the um, courage to who, who doesn't know who to trust, who's not very confident, but just to go and examine and equip yourself with the knowledge because the knowledge you can, you can um, make a difference, you can make an informed choice and I just invite people to reason it, measure it and, and come to that knowledge yourself but ultimately come to the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, he died he loved you, he loves you and he died to save you he died to save all men, but regardless of their sin and regardless of your own judgments on, on people, Jesus didn't want to put anyone in hell forever because that is the most terrifying, terrifying thing. I, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. I, I would rather that person receive forgiveness, but if God judges them worthy because they've rejected the forgiveness of, of sins, then that's their choice. There's, there's nothing I can do about that. The Lord's burden is light. He's finished. He's done it, and it's open on the table. If people don't want it, there's nothing more he could done. He could have done. And I, I, I you know, I'm not going to fret about, you know, who's all those people that aren't going to be safe because um, they have every opportunity. But my heart can't help it. I, I, I don't want to see anyone lost, and I don't, I don't wish it on anybody. And I leave the judging to God, because He's just, He's fair. So if this is, uh, this has appealed to you, this has touched you or st struck you, I just invite you to believe and be forgiven of your sins, repent, believe in Jesus, not religion. Don't trust man, trust God and wait upon him, call upon him because he's faithful to save you because he has and he will but it just takes that faith and pure hearted contrite belief but if you don't you'll perish in your sins and you will go to hell forever uh, God's not a respecter of persons and he won't roll over he's not going he's, he's to suddenly change his mind and say oh no one's going to hell. No, it's done. It's it, he can't go back on his word because he's faithful to it, and he's wiser and he knows best. We can't we can't question God. Cause you know, because he created all things. So if you re reject the person who knows all things, then you're you're cutting off your nose to spite your face, and you'll be condemned. You'll be damned. And you'll be lost. So my invitation is for salvation, to save yourself but also to reason this, this knowledge through and uh, equip yourself with the truth. That you may make an informed decision for yourself and those people you love and, and profess to care about. Um, and maybe a, if you're a selfish person, maybe it'll snap you out of your selfishness. You know, it might open your eyes, might wake you up. 
and you'll be glad that you've been woken up when you rejoice in, in, in finding the truth because the truth does set you free spiritually you might not be free physically but this, this life is temporary and God's forever he created all people to be forever and no one can comprehend the wonders and enjoy what it would be like to be living with God for eternity it's just mind-blowingly incomprehensible but it's wonderful and you can taste it you can know it for yourself that what you've received is eternal life and that you are anchored in that life and and you're saved and that you know that when you die no matter what you experience no matter all the injustice you experienced in that life it's only for a short time and you'll be in heaven forever resting with our Lord who's resting now with his feet on this earth and he's going to come back and judge it and he's going to judge it with fire and wrath and you're not going to want to be on this world when that takes place you're not going to want all this technology it will, it will have its day and die a death and you'll be regretting it you'll be seeing the vainness in it the, the, the uh, the vain deceit and delusion will catch up and eat itself and you'll feel foolish because you're you're yoked to it you're you're stuck for it forever and you're condemned forever because you've allowed it to take place and you've accepted it because you've believed a lie over the, the true and living God and I'll close in the precious name Wish all people well. Wish my brothers and sisters in the Lord Jesus Christ a blessing and joy and peace. And I close in the name of Jesus Christ and Maranatha. Amen. Just a quick PS. Um, I was hurrying through that and uh, squeak, trying to squeeze uh, a lot of information into a short soundbite <laughs> uh, as best as I can. Uh, I wanted to cover, I've noticed a uh, conditioning of a social, social engineering um, device in preparing people, revealing and unveiling uh, the UFO phenomenon. Um, there's been a wash of UFO programs uh, pumped into the uh, media programs, and the information is coming out. Oh, it's been it's become an acceptable reality that uh, uh, unidentified flying objects exist, whatever they are. And there's all all this different speculation of their um, aliens, greys. If you heard of greys, and uh, um, extra intelligence that created the universe. There's so many um, models of thought about what are you, these UFOs are, and you've got all these um, people clambering over themselves to, you know, uh, over this phenomenon, uh, phenomenon to, uh, you know, work out, you know, is it is, is there intelligent life? Well, there sure is intelligent life. If you don't know the truth, you're not going to see truly of what's going on. Now you can believe me or not, but I'll tell you exactly what these UFOs are, these um, and why the government is suddenly getting private people to uh, spill out the information to get people used to the idea. It's a deception. Um, people who, um, any government agency that's been um, has knowledge of this um, is deceived. Um, they don't. They don't know Jesus Christ and. There may be Christians in there, but they they may not have the correct idea. They may not. They might not even be true Christians. They may only pro be professing believers, but they're not really true to the biblical faith, and they haven't received uh, the free gift of salvation. So they're only Christians in name. They're not necessarily Christians in spirit and truth and heart. And so you get all this. Uh, you get the religious input into what these are, you get the occult input to what these are and you get all this mishmash and the public opinion of what the and all what all the investigators discover and speculate and titillate about. And it's a coming deception. Um, if you if you're biblically minded, if you're spiritually minded, 
and you're open for truth. You need you, you, you need to start with the foundation of all truth, which is the Lord God and Jesus Christ, and the forgiveness of sins and the free gift of eternal life and truth. I've already I've already um, expressed this, and from that truth you can know the truth of what anything you apply yourself if it's within the mind and heart of God for you to understand it it may be beyond our understanding there's things we're not meant to know you know we're not you know you can't you can't be presumptuous and, and think that we're entitled to know everything uh, nobody's got a perfect knowledge and we're, we're but we are blessed and equipped to reason uh, gather evidence and uh, legally uh, decipher what's true and what's a, a load of crock what's a deception and what's a lie if you know the truth you know that um, fallen angels are in they are powerful angelic creatures that we can't even comprehend we can't even comprehend how, how long these things have existed and how, how wiser they are how powerful they are how intelligent they are and they can appear as, um, these are dimensional beings, these are, they're not from another planet or time and space, they are of our own earth, they are deceptive spirits that can appear in physical form, and they can appear as objects. They can also deceive the people that commune with them in secret, in secret, sodomized, satanic, blood, blood, blood sacrificing rituals and all the blasphemies and all all the wickedness that goes on in secret places opens these portals up to these demonic entities and they deceive these people there's people in high levels in government that are involved with these demonic entities and they and for all we know they could have been uh, gaining intelligence and designing these craft it could be a combination of both it could be man's hands and the devil's intelligence teaching teaching a deception to play on the world that this that this Lucifer God of theirs is going to appear and save the world and he, he, he could possibly appear as an alien I wanted to mention that and for people to consider because it, it's been slowly um, engineered for people to become accepting of it's it's okay that these things are normal but if these things were benevolent they wouldn't approach in secret. They would be open, and we would know about them. And if you don't, if you reject the truth, you, you're you're going to believe a lie. And these are a lie. It's a deception. And I'm not dismissing the, the, um, UFOs as a reality. I believe it. I believe in demons. I believe in apparitions of spirits and phenomena. And I believe in unidentified flying objects, whether that's a weather balloon or a mysterious uh, apparition from the demonic realms, whether that's an, an, an uh, a fake angel appearing to deceive somebody, or a or a god in the lowercase sense, or a spirit guide. These are all deceptive spirits, and if you don't know the truth, you're not gonna. How are you? How are you ever gonna establish well, who's lying and who's telling the truth if you're not founded? on that which is sure and true. So I just wanted to call that out, that these UFOs are slowly, it's slowly being engineered for us, for people to accept a, descent, uh, uh, a deception, and that includes governments and people with intelligence. People with uh, scientific, lawfully based knowledge are gonna be deceived. And they're, you know, these things can divide uh, lawful physics because they're unlawful and they're not, they're not acting in the laws of physics, they're appearing to be acting within the law, lawful physics, like a computer program um, projected over reality and merged together. One is physical and real and the other is um, an imitation, a projection of intelligent deception. And that's what these flying saucers are. Because Jesus Christ is rejected, you're going to accept a saviour from another planet that created man, and they're the gods. And it's all connect and all the gods and all the greys are all connected to Luciferianism. Alistair Crowley, he was a, a sexual paedophile murderer, and, and they buggered children, and they do that to open up their spiritual eyes to become possessed by demons. And these people are no different, they're demonic, and they're, they, um, 
Alistair Crowley claimed he was the Antichrist, he was the Antichrist, or a Antichrist, he was Antichrist spirit. He openly practiced these things and taught, taught a school and inspired, inspired generations who practice this sex murder today. And this is abomination and this opens them up to such demonic forces and power. The God of forces, the God of lies and deception. And they play it out in the world, they live it out and it's right in plain sight but people cannot see that this world is a Luciferian um, dominated cult. And that, that's inclusive of all organised religious systems. They're all in bed. They're all in bed with the same whore of Babylon, the, the whore of Rome, the Vatican, the Vatican abomination that, that, that the Lord's condemned. And I'm not against people, I'm, I'm against the systems. I don't wish any ill towards any man. I just don't want people to be deceived. I want people to see the truth for themselves as I. Whether you believe me or not, it's irrelevant. I don't care what people think of me, or what they say, or, or what, what other people believe. That's their choice. I, I, I'm just sharing the truth openly and inviting people to seek these things. And consider the UFO deception and that the study these things out and the, and also the, in the film that um, this needs careful study that, uh, the, that these angels, these fallen angels, the watchers uh, bred with the, uh, the daughters of men now consider, does the scripture say that? does it really say that in the bible? If you, now the verse I'm referring to is, is taken from Genesis 6 but if you read more scripture, you read in the New Testament that uh, the saints, any any believer, will be an angel in heaven. Be no, uh, the angels don't have um, genitals, they don't have reproductive organs. So how did these, my question is to people who believe that uh, the, the, the film are hybrids of aliens and going down that route, consider well, did have aliens got, have aliens got the capability of breeding with uh, human flesh or you know perhaps there's another way to um, manipulate DNA uh, by possession I don't know but um, they have no reproductive organs they have to deceive they have to lie they have to cheat they have to get um, allies with wicked men to do their physical act physical actions and it's all rooted in the heart mind and will of the devil Lucifer fallen angel and the only way you can get power over that fallen principality is in the Lord, is in God. And that's the only way you'll see through the deception and be able to have your eyes focused and your um, vision sharpened. 2020 vision, it's 2020. If you want 2020 vision, seek the living God. And I'll close in his precious name, in the holy name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Maranatha and Amen.